How's it going guys? Welcome to Buffalo Bills preseason action. As tonight they will take on the Carolina Panthers in their first preseason game. The Panthers have the ball to start with as Cam Newton comes out onto the field. And for their first play, he's going to take it, fake the handoff, and run outside and actually pick up a very nice first down before Graham brings him down after about a 13-yard rush on the play. Next play. Newton's got the ball. He will hand off to D'Angelo Williams, who will scat outside, evade two more defenders, and another one before he trips and falls down after a 23-yard rush. So the, can the Panthers with a very good start. Cam Newton has the ball now. He's going to sling it outside and find Cautry in the corner for a nice gain. And then on the next play, Newton's going to get the ball. He's going to drop back and on a slant route, find Jericho Cautry. He'll take it in the end zone for the first score for the Carolina Panthers. Bills with the ball. C.J. Spiller is going to take the toss and try and sweep outside and just get hammered before he can even get across the line of scrimmage. But on the next play, Spiller will take the handoff to the left side this time and pick up 12 yards on his next rush. A complete makeup from that humiliating first run. Next play, Emmanuel's going to drop back with the ball and try and sling it out, but Lester's going to be right there, throws it right into traffic as he's trying to hit Williams, and Lester picks him off for his first interception of the preseason. After the interception, Cam Newton will drop back and sling it out into the flats to find Mike Tolbert, who will tight walk the sideline and run into the end zone, putting the Panthers up 2-0 over the Bills. Manuel hands off to Spiller who takes it on the counter running outside toward the sideline evades Lester and will head all the way down for the score putting the Bills on the board now they're just down by seven second quarter backups in now Anderson's going to drop back with the ball he's going to throw it out to Dixon Dixon will evade another defender Bills just poor tackling tonight and he will find the end zone making it 21-7 Panthers up over the Bills Tad Lewis will drop back now and find Moieki, who will pick up a nice 18-yard gain, doing something E.J. Manuel couldn't, and making a completion. Lewis dropping back again, gets that pass swatted down as the defender is right in his face, forcing the Bills to go for a field goal attempt, but Carpenter does not have the leg for this one. He will be short, score 21-7. Leaving points on the field is never a good thing. Anderson drops back again. He's going to try and find a receiver. Finds Polaris, who again... Bills, terrible tackling, cannot bring down players when they need to. Gets a nice game for the Panthers. Next play. Anderson's going to drop back on this, and he's going to try and find a receiver in the end zone. It looks like it's incomplete, but no, somehow McNutt comes up with it. Now, we're definitely going to have to take a closer look at this one. Officials want to review, did McNutt catch that ball? It looks like the ball touches the ground, but from a second angle, you can see it bounces off of a Panthers defender, and McNutt picks it up, scoops it, and heads into the end zone. Cannot believe it. Unbelievable catch. The refs say the call will stand. It is a touchdown. Lewis now trying to get something going for the Bills before halftime. Jackson takes it outside, shoves off a defender, and picks up a nice game before being brought down in the open field. Lewis again trying to get something going before halftime. Finds Barden out. But Barden gets slammed and hurt on that play. Lewis still doing better than EJ Manuel did in his one quarter of play. Five wide now. Lewis is going to take it, drop back, and he will find Steve Chandler on a very, very important fourth down play before the half. 59 seconds left. Lewis drops back again. He's going to sling it out and find Marquise Goodwin, a receiver to watch this season. What a wonderful corner route for Goodwin. Sets the Bills up in great position. Fourth and ten. Lewis, again, with defenders in his face, forces them to kick a field goal. Bills go into halftime down 28-10 to to the Panthers. Coming out of halftime, Bills with the ball. Lewis slings it downfield and finds Marquise Goodwin again. He's going to be a very dynamic player this season. Gets a huge game for the Bills. Sets them up to score, but Dan Carpenter ends up kicking another field goal after the Panthers hold the Bills to four downs. Panthers get it back. Anderson fakes the handoff and runs outside doing his best Newton impersonation and just gets leveled by a Bills defender. Bills hold and get the ball back. Lewis fakes the handoff to Jackson and will sling it out again to Ty Moieki. Moieki picks up a first down for the Bills, getting a majority of the catches in this game 
as it's hard for the Bills to move the ball around. Hand off again to Jackson. Jackson runs it outside and says, look, C.J. Spiller, anything you can do, I can do better. Weaving in and out of defenders, doesn't find the end zone, but doing a great job of his own, picking up a huge game and setting the Bills back up in scoring position. Lewis will take the ball and sling it to Steve Smith, who gets them a big gain and on the one-yard line. The Bills trying to come back in this game, line up in the goal line formation. Hand off now to Fred Jackson, who will pound it ahead and pick up the touchdown, closing the lead the Panthers have over the Bills. Bills now going for the two-point conversion. Lewis steps back and finds the injured Barton back in the game, making it a good two-point conversion. Bills now within seven of the Panthers. Will they make a comeback? Panthers in the I formation. Anderson will hand off to Stewart who will try and run ahead for a first down, but he will be tackled by Bradham who ends up shaking up on the play. This is not good as Bradham is one of the Bills' best secondary linebackers. Panthers come out again three wide. Can the Bills stop them from picking up this third down and get the ball back? Stewart rumbles ahead. He runs into a pile of Bills defenders and he looks close, but I'm not sure if he's got the first down or not. No, they measure fourth and inches. Bills ball. Lewis slings it out to Fred Jackson, who's been great this game. He misses some tacklers and breaks another one before he's finally brought down after a good game. Bills getting great field position this second half. Lewis slings it out, finds it. Marquise Goodwin again, who evades two tacklers and runs all the way down the sideline before being brought down at the two-yard line. Tad Lewis doing a tremendous job. Not as good as Derek Anderson, who is at 100%, but he's still doing better than E.J. Manuel did in his one quarter of play. Bills trying to punch it in, slings it out, and it is another touchdown to C.J. Spiller in the five-wide set. Tie ball game now. Panthers with the ball. Anderson drops back, trying to make a comeback and see if he can match that Bills score. He cannot. Slings it out. It is a fourth and five now. They're going to have to punt it away and give it right back to the Bills. Panthers just falling apart in this fourth quarter of play. Lewis will sling it out again and find Marquise Goodwin for another touchdown. I'm telling you, you guys, he's going to be a playmaker this season. Keep your eye on him. Every time he touches the ball, he does something amazing with it. And they are happy right now because the Bills finally take their first lead of the game up 35-28 over the Panthers. Can the Panthers match it? Anderson tries to throw it, gets flushed out of the pocket, and Roby picks it off. Bills defense stepping up in this fourth quarter to prove that you do not mess with their second string. Okay, this is preseason, but they are serious. Everybody's got a lot to prove before they get cut, and they are laying it all on the line in this game. Bills goal line offense, they will hand off, pitch it to Fred Jackson, who will cut inside and gets tackled by a defender into the end zone for another touchdown. Bills up two scores over the Panthers, 42-28 with 4.52 left in the fourth. Panthers with the ball back. Anderson passing. They've abandoned the run this second half and just gets hammered by Leotis McKelvin flying off of the edge. Leotis McKelvin, another great cornerback, another great defender. Keep your eye on him this season. He's going to make some big, big improvements to this Bills defense. Anderson drops back, fires it to the side, and finds Dixon, who will be brought down by Powell on third and 12. Panthers unable to pick up a must-needed first down. Not able to do it these last three series. Haven't been able to pick up a first down. They will go for it on fourth to try and get back in this ball game. Anderson drops back, slings it out to Dixon again, who does not pay attention to where the sideline is and runs out just short of the first down. The whole team is disgusted. Coach can't stand it. That was just unnecessary, ridiculous. Bills get the ball back, drive down, and end up kicking another field goal, just trying to end this game. A minute 44 left. It is all but over. Bills kick off to the Panthers. King receives it. He's going to take off, makes a few moves, cuts inside, back outside, down the middle of the field, and evades the entire Bills defense as he will take it a hundred yards for a touchdown, putting the Panthers right back in this ball game. Bills sleep on it, and the Panthers strike back. Onside kick from the Panthers. If they get this, Bills can end the game right here. Barden does. Grabs it, falls down. This is now the Bills' ball game to lose. Lewis drops back and one for good measure. Same thing as EJ Manuel. Slings and fires an interception. Thomas gets it. Panthers with the ball back. 
they may be able to tie this ball game up with a minute left. Anderson drops back, looking for a receiver, moving inside the pocket, and takes too much time. The good coverage downfield leads to the sack. Anderson spikes the ball with 46 seconds left. Will they do it? Can they make this comeback? They need a touchdown and a field goal. Anderson slings outside and finds, I don't know that receiver. I didn't catch the name, but they are so close to a first down. Fourth and inches, and Rivers, the middle linebacker, steps up and makes a huge tackle on Jonathan Stewart, stopping him short of the first down. It is Bill's ball. They will kneel it and end this game. What an incredible comeback for the Buffalo Bills who struggled and were down three scores before they even went into the half. 28 to 10. Can't believe the Bills pulled off. Guys, I know that my commentary is not the best this game, but uh, I'm going to get better at it. I'm going to use preseason like the NFL uses preseason, just use it for practice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's going to be much more to come. I'm going to try and get better and give you guys some exciting game plays. Here's the end of the game stats right here for you to look at. Um, Panthers actually really dominated us. I uh, can't believe that we were able to come back and win that, but I think it's going to be a good season. Again, we saw some players to keep our eyes on. Uh, Marquise Goodwin, just a phenomenal player, lots of speed, great hands, and also Leotis McKelvin. He's a great cornerback. He's really fast, kind of a shutdown corner. Not as good as Richard Sherman, but still a pretty good cornerback for this Bills defense. Uh, this is an exciting game. I love playing games like this where we're down and then we can battle back. As you see here, we're looking at Derek Anderson's numbers so much better uh, than the either of the Bills quarterbacks, both Cam Newton and Derek Anderson. E.J. Manuel just terrible uh, in his first outing, an interception. I don't. I, I think he may have completed one or two passes. Um, we will see that coming up. But C.J. Spiller does great. Four carries for 89 yards. Fred Jackson does 20 carries for 117 yards. And Bryce Brown even gets in the mix a little bit. Um, Tad Lewis, here's the numbers. E.J. Manuel, one attempt for one interception. There you go. And then 14 for 26 for Tad Lewis. Not so bad for him. Um, he is just a backup, but he did lead the Bills on some very important drives to win this game. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment. We'll see you next time.